My name is Sean Weary. I'm a sales representative with Citizens Martin Emergency Group, and we're here at FDIC 2021, and I have the pleasure of showing the Windcrest Fire Department Velocity Ascendant Aerial Tower to you today. The truck is a, a white color scheme with blue backlit handrails on the cab and the body, uh, which is fairly unique to the city. They they run all white fire apparatus. And this apparatus happens to match the department's uh, pumper, which was delivered last year. So they went with an extended front bumper to match their bumper design on their pumper and carried those similar aspects down through the rest of the cab and the chassis as well. Uh, the department decided to go with the Ascendant Aerial Tower because of the low overall length, um, because this is a fairly compact city within the city of uh, San Antonio. Uh, so they have uh, trees that overhang many of the streets and they needed a vehicle that was had a low overall travel height. So this truck coming in at under 10 foot, eight inches for a full 100 foot aerial device, uh, mid-mount aerial device was critical uh, to their success running this truck. Uh, the truck is also under 45 feet in length, so it really suits their needs to have a highly maneuverable apparatus uh, so that they can get into those areas uh, to fully operate this aerial device. We elected to go with uh, USSC Valor seats and uh, they have the seats in vinyl so that they can easily decontaminate the apparatus after a fire. Uh, they also decided to go with a tread plate floor so it's easy to sweep out uh, and disinfect after a, an incident as well. Uh, they did not go with a full clean cab concept but they tried to accommodate some of the uh, some of the features of a clean cab concept so that they could easily decontaminate the cab. In the crew cab position, we have three forward-facing seats, all SCBA equipped, and a shorter EMS rear-facing cabinet on the left-hand side and a larger cabinet on the right-hand side. They predominantly store their medical equipment on the right-hand side and the apparatus operator's equipment and gear on the left-hand side. Moving towards the pump panel, we have two pre-connected lines. Uh, obviously the pull-out drop-down or pull-out step for the operator. Uh, access to the turntable is very simple. You're right by the actual pump house itself. So access to the turntable is very simple and very easy and, and quick for the operator. So if you need to spot the apparatus on a busy street and you have obstacles such as cars or other, other items on, in the street or where you need to place the stabilizer, it's very simple because you only have to worry about the stabilizers on the center portion. The outriggers on the front and the rear just simply go down. Coming back throughout the, the body, we'll have engineer's compartment with uh, nozzles, fittings, adapters for the actual pump operator. We went with single SCBA tubes, a triple, and another single in the fender panels. So the department's able to carry quite a large amount of supplied air. We went with a pegboard swing out tool board so we can mount tools and equipment on both sides of the tool board. And then there's a small shelf in the, the rear of the apparatus. Um, one thing that's important to point out on an, the Ascendant Aerial Tower is the compartments are very deep. Uh, so while they, you know, this compartment is very long, it also is very deep. So you have to think in terms of three-dimensional storage when you're looking at placing your tools and equipment and loose equipment on the truck. Uh, because this compartment is so large, we actually placed a vertical uh, partition here and put another shelf in. And then we'll do fans, saws, and other large equipment in this compartment, a lot of our ventilation equipment, and then another hand tool compartment in the rear. Uh, so we'll probably build out with, uh, we will build out with poly materials here for uh, storage in the future. We mentioned the uh, decreased tail swing on the ascendant aerial tower because the the distance from the rear axle to the rear of the apparatus is so shortened for, uh, for a, uh, a mid-mount aerial device, the tail swing is substantially reduced uh, compared to others in the past. We also chamfered the corners of the body, so we're looking to further reduce that tail swing, and that carries through the access to the actual basket itself. And we carry that through the, the rear tail board as well, uh, so a very shortened bumper, and we have an angle to that, so it also cuts down the tail swing. 
So another important feature of this in an aerial tower is the aerial basket does not hang off the back of the apparatus itself. It sits flush with the rear wall of the apparatus, so you don't have an increase to the tail swing on the back. Uh, so you're nice and, and flush with the body with that aerial basket. A number of cities in and around the San Antonio area designed a rapid intervention team emblem that they could affix to the apparatus to indicate to other incoming crews where their RIT bag is stored. That way, if a company is assigned a RIT and they're pulling the equipment from the workhorse engine, they may not know exactly where that piece of equipment is if that sticker had not been there. We're in the aerial basket now, and you can see the department has specified two saw boxes, one on each side. And as you look down the aerial device, you'll also notice that we've installed a 16-foot roof ladder in the fly section of the aerial device itself. The right side of the apparatus is a mirror image of the left side. So from here, we have equipment for the officer when he jumps off the apparatus, the handy in his front compartment, uh, increased uh, extrication equipment in the RS2 compartment, then we have spots for additional uh, SCBA bottles, and then on the two outboard positions, we have those set up for fire extinguishers. So we're trying to maximize the interior space in the body by placing some of those larger items actually in the fender panels. We also went with Whelan emergency lighting and high-vis scene lighting throughout the apparatus. Another great feature of the Ascendant Aerial Tower is the integrated stabilizer pads. The pads are pre-attached to the stabilizers themselves, so there is no more going out, pulling pads, placing, and running back to operate the controls, and then having to adjust those pads to make sure you get those in the right place. And because of that, and because the hydraulics on this system are pretty fast, you can set this aerial device up, be out of the basket in under 30 seconds. Thank you for watching our walk around video of the Windcrest Velocity Ascendant Aerial Tower. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call.